Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and here's what I'm taking to work for beverage, lunch, and snack. Starting with my coffee and tea. Coffee is zero smart points with one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. I'm taking one teaspoon of teamy skinny tea with the juice of one full lime, also zero smart points. Lunch today is going to be a poke bowl, so I'm starting with this. This is a mixture of a half cup rice for three smart points and a half cup of riced cauliflower for zero smart points. I used the frozen organic riced cauliflower from Trader Joe's because I think that frozen cauliflower, frozen riced cauliflower has less of a cauliflower fit flavor than raw riced cauliflower, obviously. So I am actually going to heat this up for about a minute and a half when I get to work. Then I'm going to add all of my toppings. So I'm using salmon. Um, this is a third of a pound of salmon. So what is this? It's about five ounces of salmon, which I believe is about three smart points. Um, I need to look that up and confirm, but I have about five, five and a half ounces of raw salmon here. And then I've got diced mango for zero smart points. Um, over here I have some edamame. So this is just the regular edamame that I shelled. Edamame is, I believe, a fourth cup for two smart points. And then I'm going to be using some sliced cucumber. And then I have one and a half sheets of this sushi paper. So it's roasted seaweed. It's just nori paper. It is zero smart points, so I have that crumbled up to sprinkle on top. And then I'll be using just a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of sriracha. So zero smart points for those. So the entire poke bowl should be three, four, five, eight points. And then my snack today is just grapes. So everything I'm, I am having from now until dinner tonight is going to be eight smart points. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Monday again. Here's my outfit of the day. And we are back to business as usual. Okay, so by now you guys have probably seen the videos from my crazy intense weekend. Let me tell you, it was a doozy. Not only Friday and Saturday, but also Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All three days were crazy for food. So it was a lot of fun. Yesterday at Disneyland, we tried so many new foods. I will probably get quite a few thumbs down on that video because yes, definitely not Weight Watchers friendly. And if you watch the video, you could probably see at what point I kind of lost it and I stopped tracking because it was just getting pretty complicated. So, and I actually just didn't care that much. I knew we were going to be trying a lot of new foods. And so I knew I probably was not going to track that well. So we actually decided at the end of the day, out of all the things that we tried, the very best foods that we had were the Monte Cristo sandwich and the corn dog, which comes down to the good old Disneyland classics. We're still the best. So <laughs> now we know what to have next time. It's always fun to try new foods, but um, yeah, those were the best tasting. And let me tell you, my stomach rebelled last night. I have a stomach of steel and I can eat so many crazy foods and not really have a problem at all. But I guess finally after all the fat and all the sugar that I'm not used to, I was up in the middle of the night with an unhappy stomach. So yeah, I am so happy to get back to business today. I always call it back to basics Monday. And today that's exactly what it is because I'm super on fire and ready to be on track and on my points. Um, I have no reason at all to go off point this week. I actually have, so I've almost pre-tracked my whole, not pre-tracked, but I've planned my whole entire food week all the way up until Friday evening. So my two challenges for the week so far are Friday evening, we are going to be going to a Mexican restaurant. However, at this restaurant, they have some 
really good healthy um, menu options they actually have grilled vegetables that have very very little oil on them they also have I think a chicken salad that is really delicious and very low points very healthy so there are some really good options at this Mexican restaurant that we're going to and then Saturday so Sunday I'm gonna be running a 5k Saturday I wanted to like really carve up and eat pizza at our favorite pizza restaurant so I wanted to do Hawaiian pizza on Saturday because it's kind of my little tradition to myself to carve up on pizza the day before a run so um, I don't need to because a 5k is only 3.1 miles so it's not like I need the extra carbs um, but it's my gift to myself I guess you could say um, so I really need to think about do I want to do that and if so how much of that pizza do I want to have? Um, so those are my actual two challenges for the week. Um, Sunday's gonna be like no big deal because I have the race and then I have like a three hour training session for Weight Watchers actually. So Sunday will be fine. It's Friday and Saturday I need to work with. Friday should be fine so it's really the whole Saturday pizza challenge, but I am super duper excited to get back on track. It's so fun to have a little splurge weekend, but this was a long one and my body's ready for some good healthy food. So we're back on track today. Um, today is a no running day for me. So again, I have also pre-tracked every single one of my workouts this week. I've got four rowing days, four yoga classes, and four, um, well, I guess if we're going from Sunday, my planner now is from Sunday to Saturday. So I'm actually counting yesterday's yoga class in with this week's <laughs> workouts. So my planner is now kind of throwing me off a little bit, but I'm counting from Sunday to Saturday. So I'll have four yoga classes, four running sessions, and four rowing sessions. So I've pre-planned all of that and I will be having a long run this week as well. Um, so everything <laughs> should work as long as I stick to my plan. So um, today is a non-running day, so I will be doing um, a two mile loop with my friend at lunch. I'm doing two loops each at the park for my walk breaks, and I will still probably be a little shy on steps. I also have a yoga class tonight, so hopefully I'll get a few steps from that, but I'm still probably going to be short on my 16,000. So I'll probably have to make a, that up somehow today. It's like 100 degrees today. It was 100 yesterday at Disneyland, it was super hot. Um, but yeah, it's very hot. So um, there's no October here. There's no fall, no cool temperatures. Anyway, I'm headed back to the office. I will touch base with you guys on my second walk break. I gotta go update all of our Fitbit stats. Um, I did not blow it off this weekend at least, but I did not hit my goal on either Saturday or Sunday. So kudos to all of you who do so well on the weekends also. So I'll touch base with you guys in another little while. Okay guys, second walk break of the day and it's time to announce everybody who made their goal on the Fitbit challenge six out of seven days last week. Are you guys ready? It's a bigger list than last week. You guys are doing fabulous. Okay, the people that made their goal six out of seven days. Carrie, Gina, Julie, Jerry, Tina, Gabriella, Charity, Cheryl, Shelly, Crystal, Sarah, Dawn, Jean, Julissa, Kathleen, Laura Huber, Rita C, Angela Yu, Erin, The Yin Yan Life, Marilyn, Carolyn, sorry, Marilyn and Karen. <laughs> I got into the rhyming thing. Marilyn, Karen, Deborah, Melanie, Mary Kay, Esther, Asthma, and Angela S. 
You guys are awesome. Six out of seven days last week, you hit your Fitbit goal. You're amazing, and all of you guys get another entry into the drawing for the prize at the end of the month. Okay, guys, as a disclaimer, again, if you did not hear your name, but you did hit your goal six out of seven days last week, please reach out to me and let me know because this Fitbit is not the most accurate way to track all of this I'm finding. So at least not the Fitbit community part. So it's been uh, <laughs> a challenge just to track everything. So I do find that if you do not accept the challenge every day, for example, if you are away from your Fitbit or your phone for a day or two, maybe you were out of town or you didn't wanna do the challenge over the weekend and you didn't accept, you probably fell off the challenges. So again, if you did not get a challenge invite from me today, let me know and I will add you to another challenge. You need to be on a challenge so I can track your steps. You guys are doing amazing. I am so proud of you. Everybody is saying that this challenge is really helping them to get up and get moving again. So I'm very happy because that was the goal and you guys are doing fabulous. I cannot wait to send out the prize at the end of the month because I've got some fun stuff in mind. So I can't wait to see who the winner is. Um, anyway, I got nothing else right now because I'm just working my little tushy off, um, doing my thing today, back in business. Oh, the Poke Bowl was amazing. It was amazing, you guys. It was super filling. Um, the salmon was delicious. It was delicious. Even though I accidentally froze it, it was still just as good. It was just fabulous. It tasted very, very fresh. The mango. The cucumber, the edamame was amazing. Um, and then the sriracha over everything was just mm, like the final touch. It was so good. I definitely want to make more of these. So tomorrow I'm gonna be having another salmon poke bowl. And then Wednesday is my last one because one pound of salmon very perfectly makes three generous poke bowls. So, the combination of the rice and the rice cauliflower was perfect. I, of course, would prefer straight rice, um, but I heated it for about a minute and a half and it was not overly cauliflower tasting. So I think if you ate it on its own, you would be able to taste the cauliflower more, but with all of the toppings and the sriracha, it was perfect. It was perfect. You guys should try it if you like poke bowls. Anyway, so I'm still actually stuffed from that. I will probably eat the grapes like much later tonight because we actually have yoga from eight to nine, so it's going to be a late dinner. So I'll probably eat the grapes maybe on the way to yoga class, so something like that. But that's it for me right now, guys. I will touch base with you later today. Okay guys, it is 10 o'clock. It's very late, but I did do my 10 minutes on the rower. I went to yoga class and here finally is my dinner. So here is uh, chicken breast here. I have three ounces of chicken breast for two smart points. I have a tablespoon of this horseradish mustard to dip it in for zero smart points. I have some broccoli over here for zero smart points and on top of the broccoli is a quarter cup of Kraft fat-free shredded cheddar for zero smart points. And last but not least is the last little bit of my Hungry Girls scoopable apple pie filling yum for zero smart points. So my whole plate here is three smart points and then I have my um, grapefruit bellini here. Um, that bottle there is 18 smart points and I have some grapes, frozen grapes in the bottom. So 18 plus, what did I say, two? Oh yeah, three ounces of chicken breast is two smart points. So 18 plus two is 20 smart points plus the eight I had earlier for my Poke Bowl is 28 smart points today. Mm -hmm.